Hi, this is Dr. Michael Brisbane, neurosurgeon from Long Island, sharing with you some of my interesting cases. So this is a 59-year-old woman with multiple sclerosis and left-sided trigeminal neuralgia. Um, it was in a V3 distribution and refractory to medical and conservative measures. Um, we decided to do gamma knife for her. We could have also done percutaneous rhizotomy. Um, so we did a gamma knife treatment. This is the an illustration of the treatment. This is a day of treatment, the T1 axial images, here's the pons, here's the trigeminal nerve root. And when we're doing the patients with multiple sclerosis, they tend to have more atrophy. Uh, there's a longer um, trigeminal nerve root uh, segment in the cistern. But here's the 50% isos line using a four millimeter collimator. Here's the treatment. I usually treat 80 gray to the 50% isos line for the first time for patients with, I'm sorry, I usually use 85 gray for MS patients. For non-MS, I am usually use 80 gray. So we did the treatment. She did uh, very well for a little over a year. And then her pain did recur. We did then, after discussion, we did another treatment. Here's the second treatment. And we treated a little more distally on the nerve this time. And she did very well from this treatment as well. And after, you know, she's been pain-free for more than six years after this. So this again, some you know, showing you this can be an effective treatment for refractory trigeminal neuralgia in MS patients, patients with multiple sclerosis, and can be repeated and can be effective upon repeat treatment as well. So thank you for hearing about this case.